Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x squared plus x over x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 5 over 4. We need to find all possible values of x. So let's start. x squared plus by using this power rule a over b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n over b to the power n. This uh, x over x minus 1 whole squared will become x squared divided by x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 5 over 4. Now we can write the denominator of this uh, x squared 1 and we take uh, LCM of uh, this x minus 1 whole squared and this 1. LCM of 1 and this uh, x minus 1 whole squared is x minus 1 whole squared. Now this uh, x squared multiplied by this x minus 1 whole squared will be written here x squared times x minus 1 whole squared plus uh, this x squared will come here x squared is equal to 5 divided by 4. Next, x squared times by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This x minus 1 whole squared will become x squared minus 2 times x plus 1 plus this x squared x squared divided by x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 5 over 4. Now we multiply this x squared by this expression x squared times x squared will become x to the power 4 minus x squared times 2x 2x cubed plus x squared times plus 1 x squared plus this x squared x squared divided by x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 5 over 4. Next x to the power 4 minus 2x cubed this 1x squared plus 1x squared will become plus 2x squared divided by x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 5 over 4. Next, x to the power 4 minus from these two terms we can factor out 2x squared. 2x squared as a common factor and in bracket left x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 5 over 4. Now this expression can be written as x to the power 4 divided by x minus 1 whole squared minus 2x squared times x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 5 over 4. Now this uh, x to the power 4 over x minus 1 whole squared can be written as x squared divided by x minus 1 whole squared. And this uh, square will be cancelled out with this uh, x minus 1. And this uh, 2x squared over uh, x minus 1 can be written as minus 2 times x squared over x minus 1 is equal to 5 over 4. Now here we have x squared over x minus 1 and here we have x squared over x minus 1. So we suppose that let m is equal to x squared over 
x minus 1 and we substitute m in place of this x squared over x minus 1 then this equation will become m squared minus 2 times m is equal to 5 over 4. Now, if we multiply both sides by 4, then this implies that 4m squared minus 8 times m is equal to 5. And we move this 5 to the left side. 4m squared minus 8 times m minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, this is quadratic equation and is factorable. So, we solve it by factorization. 4 m squared we split this uh, negative 8 m as we split this negative 8 m as plus 2 m minus 10 m minus this 5 is equal to 0 now from these two terms uh, we can factor out 2 m 2 m as a common factor and in bracket left 2 uh, m plus 1 and from these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 5 in bracket left 2m plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression 2m plus 1, this expression 2m plus 1 is a common factor. So, we factor out this 2m plus 1 and in bracket left, in bracket left this 2m and this negative 5, in bracket left 2m minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression 2 times m plus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression 2 times m minus 5 is equal to 0. From this equation m is equal to negative 1 over 2 and from this equation m is equal to 5 over 2. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, m is equal to x squared over x minus 1. We have supposed that uh, x squared divided by x minus 1 is equal to m. First in this equation we put this value of m negative 1 over 2. Then this equation will become x squared divided by x minus 1 is equal to value of m is negative 1 over 2 and from here we use uh, cross multiplication then this 2 times this x squared will become 2 x squared is equal to negative 1 times x minus 1 x 2 x squared is equal to negative 1 times x negative x and negative 1 times negative 1 plus 1 and 2x squared this negative x becomes plus x at left side and this plus 1 becomes negative 1 at left side is equal to 0. Now this quadratic equation is factorable so we solve it by factorization 2x squared we split this plus 1x as plus 2x minus 1x minus this one is equal to 0. From these two terms uh, we can factor out 2x. 2x as a common factor in bracket left uh, x plus 1. From these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 1 in bracket left uh, x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now this expression x plus 1 this expression x plus 1 is a common factor. So we factor out this uh, x plus 1 and in bracket left uh, in bracket left this 2x and this negative 1. In bracket left 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression x plus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression 2 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation x is equal to negative 1 and from this equation x is equal to 1 over 2. 2. This is the first value of x and this is the second value of x. So, for now we have found two solutions of this equation. 
Now to find other two solutions. In this equation we put this value of m 5 over 2. Then this equation will become x squared over x minus 1 is equal to 5 over 2. And we use cross multiplication. This 2 times x squared will become 2x squared is equal to 5 times x minus 1. x 2x squared is equal to 5 times x 5x and 5 times negative 1 negative 5. Now we move this 5x and this negative 5 to the left side. 2x squared this plus 5x becomes negative 5 this and this negative 5 becomes plus 5 is equal to 0. Now this quadratic equation is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 5 and c is equal to 5. And according to quadratic formula x is equal to minus value of b negative 5 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 5 squared minus 4 times value of a 2 times value of c 5 divided by 2 times value of a 2. Next x is equal to this minus and this minus will become positive 5 plus or minus square root of negative 5 squared is 25 and minus 4 times 2 8 8 times 5 40 divided by 2 times 2 4 and x is equal to 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 40 negative 15 divided by 4. So from here we get two solutions of x. x 3 is equal to 5 minus square root of 15 times i divided by 4 and x 4 is equal to 5 plus square root of 15 times i divided by 4. So these are the four solutions of this equation.